Hey, what's going on guys? This is KNASSY39 here. We are back with some Oakland A's franchise. This is episode number 14. We're in the offseason 2022. We just lost in the World Series game 6. We lost. Now even though we lost in a 1 nothing shutout, we know what we need to improve. It's our starting pitching. Real quick, I want to look at the team before we go into free agents in the offseason. Syndergaard, Weaver, Triggs, and then these two young guys, Hutchinson and Canning, who struggled in the playoffs but had okay seasons. Not really Canning, but I'm high on them. Our bullpen is amazing. Ed Wiles looks to turn. He's going to be a superstar reliever, it looks like. Uh, I'm just hoping to have that good year. We have Chapman, Jeffrey Broussard, Claudia, Claudia uh, Winston Mudd. Dave Riley's uh, another starter we have. Um, I can't see the minors here, but we can go here check the minors. Like we have Machado is an 80 overall, 26 years old. Uh, we have Luis Torres as a top prospect. We have another top prospect in Pinero, who's an A potential. So we have players here. We also have Brian Feller, who's 24 years old, 79 overall, B potential. And then we got these two young guys here in as closers sitting in the farm. We are loaded up pitching, but I think we need to get that guy. Like we got Trout. To help our offense out. He was like a difference maker. Same with Whitaker. Those two guys are different makers we got in the offseason. We need that guy. Like that stud at pitcher. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do it in free agency. But I think we will be able to do it via a trade. So I'm going to go through all this guys right here. Um, go through all this. I'm going to edit it out. You guys wanted me to edit this out. And then you'll see what it's like once it's all done. So give me a second boys. Okay guys. So here we are. Um, I've gone on through all this now Chapman's a free agent. I'm just gonna give him a qualifying offer We're gonna let him walk. He had a good year for us. He had a bounce back here. We kind of bought low on him He struggled in Oak, uh, New York last year comes to Oakland pitches pretty well in 54 innings But I'm not gonna pay him. I mean 8 million. It probably have to be closer to 9 or 10 But there's some tough decisions. We have to make with other players. I'm gonna give him a qualifying offer I think we'll sign elsewhere. We'll get a draft pick. We have enough relievers that will be all sour We can trade for one if you don't feel comfortable. Whitaker, the shortstop. Now he's up for arbitration, which would cost us maybe a couple million. But I think if we can sign him, lock him up for a couple extra years, A, will make him happy. B, that will just kind of, don't worry about it. We just, we got him. So I offered him a four-year, $64 million deal, <coughs> which is about, I think it's like 12 million a year, uh, 15 million a year, or 16 roughly, actually. Excuse me. It's 16 exactly million a year. So, but I mean, the way he played, 23 home runs, 44 stolen bases, on base at 369 at shortstop. I mean, his war was at, what, 6.4? That's an elite level at shortstop. He's only 24 years old, too, so by the time that contract ends, he's 28. Claudio's a free agent. He pitched solid for us. He's been very good for us, for, uh, for us and for Texas. I'm going to just take the draft pick for him as well. Um, he won't cost a ton of money, but like I said, we can find other people out there, and I want those draft picks. Because we need to rebuild this farm system if we're going to be trading pieces. And because we have a, we're a late, I mean, we are now not a top, like, worst team in the league. So we're going to have low picks. We need more to kind of hit. Mikey Smalls, he's up for arbitration. Now that would could cost us probably like five or six million. He'd win arbitration. So I looked up, give him a five year, $45 million deal. That will take him to his eight years of service time, but he'll only be 30. He hit 285, 350 on base. Uh, his defense is. One of the best in the league. He has a really good year. War 5.3. He has 98 fielding. He's just a really good player. I like him a lot. Matt Olson, our the guy who's been in Oakland the longest since 2016. Career just his his career's really taken off the last couple years power wise. Now his overall actually dropped, so I was a little hesitant to give him a deal. Now I did give him a qualifying offer in case he doesn't take our contract, but it's a five year, sixty five million dollar deal. So we're paying some people now. We're having to start paying people, which kind of is getting expensive for us. So we might have to make some tough decisions. I hope he takes it. If he doesn't, we're gonna have to find another power bat. I mean, I'm not sure how much longer we'll continue hitting like this, but he does still have ninety nine power versus right. Villa Lobos, I'm just a two year deal versus 3.2 million. He only has one year of service time. It was a great year, 323 with 27 bombs on base of over 410. He's going to be a superstar. Harper Cavani, a two year, $14.8 million deal. I don't really like that, but we have to give him like some money. And if it was arbitration, I feel like we'd lose it. Uh, Luke Weaver, he is he was our midseason pickup, pitched well for us in the plus, pitched well for us in the end of the year. A two year, $27 million deal. I'm not sure I'll take it. We can't give up um we can't get a qualifying offer on him so i'm not sure if he'll we'll keep that or not Derek griffith the two-year deal he's our third baseman now rick elias our dh who always hits well not much power last year 
A four-year, $16 million a year. That's $4 million a year. I hope he takes that. He's our DH. That's great. Trigg's just a one-year, $5 million deal. He's just been so consistent for us for so long. Uh, Machado, the rest of these are just like one-year deals um, or just a couple if they've had a little bit of service time. So nothing too crazy there. So let's see what happens. We actually have some free agents. Griffith signed his deal. Uh, Pinero, Gil Cruz, some prospects. Let's see. Any big names. Jackie Jensen is a top prospect. Is a number two overall pick a few years ago. Trigg signed his one-year $5 million deal. Great. I thought he would. Glad to keep him around. I think worst case, he's a number five. Uh, I don't think anyone else did. Oh, no. Everyone did except Matt Olson. Now, we did make the qualifying offer to him. If we lose him, let's take a look because he may not want to sign. But I'm worried because his overall is dropping. He's his. He hasn't. His, I mean, he went down 10 home runs. But I think that year was an outlier. But you see his overall, it's dipping down. His attributes are all going down, really, except power versus right, which is great. We need that. But Elias, I feel like, has a durability. He can play first. We then can just need to find someone else for DH. I'm not sure who that could be on our team. Gil Cruz, maybe? He looks to be like a good hitter. Um, I'm trying to think of anyone else on our team who is ready to DH. Or we can trade for someone. Get someone young. Maybe a prospect or something like that. AJ Warner, he could probably, I mean, maybe not this year be a DH. But he's definitely has the potential to be one in the future. So maybe what will happen is Olsen leaves. I would probably then put, I mean, Welker's not good enough hit a free DH. I'd probably put Gil Cruz there. I'd probably get, put Gil Cruz there, give him a try at DH. Uh, and if, uh, what's his face, Warner hits well in AAA, we'll call him up. I think that's probably the plan. So let's see. I hope Matt Olsen signs. I really do. Let's look at look, who's out there. Bregman's a free agent. And we're not going to be able to get him 99 overall. Look at that. Fielding and arm strength. 30 bombs with that fielding. That's great. Jameson Tyon. Now, this is like a pitcher that we could really not want, but I can't afford that. I know we don't have the money for that. Um, Hader, he, they did not give him a qualifying offer. $7 million, I'll give you a $7.5 million deal. I'll take a one-year deal on Hader. That's worth it because it's not tied to a, pro, a, con, uh, a draft pick. I will gladly take that if we'll, we can get him. That gives us that, that bullpen. I'm losing. Look at all these guys got qualifying offers. So I'm not interested in any of you. Will Myers, he struggled average wise, but did hit some pop. 17 million. No, I was hoping maybe to get a cheap. Clevenger kind of struggled. Um, we'll see what's out there, but let's see. Uh, Hater did not accept it. Bregman is a brave. We can no longer afford the contract to Matt Olson, so that pretty much answers that. Bregman is a brave. Nine years, $227 million deal. Now, um, Riz Hoskins is also free agent. So we are going to have to, uh, I guess what we're going to do, let's just see what happens to Matt Olson. He may accept the qualifying offer. Now, we don't have money because we have money tied to those qualifying offers for three players. Claudio, Chapman, and Olsen. Hoskins is a national. Manea. Our boy Manea. Hey, you finally had a good year. I'm glad, Manea. You got paid. Good for you. Six years, $103 million. You're your brave. Josh Hader got that six-year, $44 million deal with the Angels. Mitch Garver is a Cub. Ryan Healy is a Padre. Hit 40 bombs last year. Nice. Albert Amora Jr., Five-year, $103 million deal to the Orioles. Wilson Contreras, five-year, $100 million deal to the Padres. Claudio went to the Padres, so there we go. So now that money is not tied to him. We got that draft pick. Kevin Kiermeyer is a Cub. Now let's see if we can go get Matt Olson now. Chapman does not have an offer yet, which worries me that he may accept the qualifying offer. Uh, Matt Olson does have an offer from the Baltimore Orioles. Could we give him like a one-year... A two-year, mm, let's see, $29.5 million deal. We can't afford that. Oh, I see the cash flow on the bottom. So what can we afford? He won't want it. We can only afford him like uh, $8 million, really. So we have to wait on Chapman, I guess. Ozzy Albias went to the uh, Giants. Chapman's an accept qualifying offer. Oh, Olsen accepted the qualifying offer. All right, so we're you know what? I'm okay with that. Matt Olsen, one year. I'll take that. Chapman, ah, I'm kind of torn. Because we have one, two, three 90 pluses. There's two 80s here, and we got these young guys. 
I might move Chapman to get a starter. Let's look what is out there for a starter. Chris Archer's in his final year. We, I mean, we could build it around Chapman, and we're not taking on... I mean, look at... The money is pretty much the same between those two. We would then just include a couple of prospects. We can get Chris Archer, who had a 295 year, right? Pitch really well, struck out 238. He could be that guy. Now, he's kind of more of like a rental, but we're trading a rental, and we won't have to give up a big prospect. They want a first baseman. We actually have a couple. I'm not trading Warner, but that would get the deal done, for instance. Actually, we didn't have like a... We don't have an... Uh, uh, another B. Center and right. I know we have Bud Duffy, Sierra, Brandon Marsh. We can get the deal done. So eight, Chris Archer is an option. Um, these guys haven't signed yet. Urias, he is a free agent at the end of the year. He's more of a younger guy. And that, see, look, at it's going to cost so much to get him. So, yeah, obviously that won't work. Um, Gaussman, no, not really what we're looking for. I think, I think Chris Archer might be the move. I think that might be the move. It's... Danny Salazar, maybe? He kind of struggled last year. Now, I want a guy who's been pitching well. Now, Spanos is an interesting arm because, look, he has a three-year, $4.94 million year contract. That is so team-friendly. That's absurd. Last year, he had a 3.53 ERA. The year before, a 2.89. But that was only in 28 innings. But this year, he had 173 innings. Pitched pretty well. Now, Chapman doesn't get it done. But maybe we don't include Chapman. We'll keep Chapman out of this. Now, our current stars are Syndergaard, Hutchinson, uh, Luke Weaver did accept that deal, the two-year deal, Canning, and Triggs. And we got Machado here, he's 26, 80 overall. We include him, maybe we include Syndergaard, who kind of struggled, who's $16 million in a final year of his deal, gets the deal, does Syndergaard get the deal done by itself? Syndergaard gets the deal done by himself. We trade Syndergaard for Spanos. We get control. We get cheap, controllable player. I like that trade a lot. Syndergaard's good. We are getting. A, I'm not even sure if we're getting worse. He's pitched this last three years. His ERA is in the low threes if you average it out. Syndergaard his last three years right around 3.7, really. So we get younger, 30 to 27. We get controllable years, and we might be able to get like an extra pr- meh, like a meh prospect thrown in. Maybe. Unfortunately, a lot of these guys haven't signed yet. Corey Ray, no, no way we can get Corey Ray. He hasn't signed. I mean, yeah, we'll get Ortega. He's just another He's just another option we can include in a future trade. So, boom. Oh, what? Now they don't want to do it? God, I'm talking all this. Oh, I want to do this. Do you have to include another piece? Do they not want... I think it's they don't want the salary. Yeah... They don't want the salary. God damn. I thought that was too good to be true. All right. Well, all that was for nothing. Thanks. Who was that? Milwaukee. Thanks. Um, Barrios, that money is tied up too long term. That wouldn't make sense. Uh, no, no one's there good enough. Ronnie Childs, he's 24 and 90 overall. Pitched really solid last year. If we include Syndergaard now, he's going to get expensive soon. So I wouldn't want to give up a ton for him. But Chapman, Syndergaard, we save so much money if we do that. I actually wouldn't mind this. I, Because then that way we save money now. Uh, Vaccaro? Do they, well, eh, let's see if we maybe don't have to include Vaccaro. I think we include... We have so many third basemen. I would love this trade. We get rid of $36 million in salary. We take on 3.8. He will be a free agent in two years. So we get two years of pretty cheap for Ronnie Childs. I'm not sure if he's going to be, like, how great he'll be, but I really like this trade. We do give up an elite closer, which is 35, an above average start, but we get a guy who's been just as good, if not slightly better, younger. He's 24. Will they do this trade? You know what? Let's just wait a little bit longer in the offseason. Teams may, sometimes teams don't do trades this early in the offseason. We're going to come back to that. I really want to do that Brewer trade, actually. Um, Luis Castillo went to the Mariners. Tapia went to the Angels. Will Myers signed somewhere with 40... Uh, hang on, that's the 40-minute thing. He went to the Giants. All right, so Rudin Odor got paid. He is a pirate. Now we're going to make sure our 40-man roster is all set. Um, Just make sure anyone here is not eligible for the Rule 5 draft that I really am going to keep. We have, so, we have so much starters that are just like B potentials. It's very nice to see. Like There's just a lot of, a lot of arms here that we can trade. Feller, I think you'll be in the majors next year. 
Eric Gordon, I want to add you. I don't want to lose you. You're 23, 73 overall. I'm not sure if you'll be an elite player, but I think you'll be pretty good. That'd be intense. Let's call you up to AAA. I want next year to be challenged. Acevo, you're not eligible. You're not eligible. For uh, catchers, uh, Bacaro might be the only one who is. He is not. AJ Warner is not. Second baseman, I don't have to worry. Third baseman, Jackie Jensen might be. He is not yet. These guys might be, but I'm not. They're not. Overalls aren't high enough. Shortstop, I'm not worried about. Uh, Cruz, he is not. Duffy obviously is not. Brandon Marsh might be. He is not. I think we're good, and these guys aren't high enough that anyone would take him. Martini probably is, and I'll let someone take Martini if they want to. All right. So we're going to go a little bit longer. Do we have to hire any coaches? No, we have 10 years or more on every single guy. I love that. Just don't have to worry about it. Michael Fulmer is an Astro. Got paid nine years, $181 million for a dude with a 4.36 ERA last year. Giolito got $140 million with a 4.88 ERA. Like, yeah, his overall is nice, but the guy isn't performing. Sean Newcomb is a Blue Jay. Tommy Joseph is an Oriole. That's not a bad deal for Joseph. Uh, German Marquez. Mitch Hanniger. Okay, I don't care. Andrew Knapp got traded for Alex. Alan Hansen and Grayson Griner. I don't really know who Griner is. Sonny Gray is a Dodger. Pitched pretty well last year, and that's a good deal. Two years, $25 million. Rule 5 draft. Paulino. Is that one of our guys? No, it's not. Not seeing any of our guys here. Is there anyone to take? I mean, no. I'm trying to no. And all these guys are too old. Yeah, he wouldn't make their team. All right, so we can just exit the Rule Five Draft. We'll sim a little bit longer, and then we will try to do some trades. Hunter Renfro is a Kansas City Royal. Dansby Swanson is a Royal as well. Royals making moves late in the se- off season. Um. All right, so now we are in February. Let's try those trades now. So, like I said, I really wanted to do the Brewers trade with Spanos for... It was literally Spanos for Syndergaard. And let's see if we can get a prospect, too, in this. And maybe now they'll do it because it's later in the offseason. It's kind of crazy how it is. This guy, uh, second baseman, we don't have, like, second base depth, do we? We really don't. We'll add Batista. Will they do this trade? No, they will not. We'll just do it straight up. All right, so I guess we got to find other deals. We'll try this Ronnie Childs trade again real quick. Um, but if it doesn't work, we're going to have to move on and try something else. No, okay, so you know what? They're not going to want to do this. All right, we're going to have to keep looking. AJ Puck, former uh, former Oakland A, had a good year last year. I'm glad for him. Uh, but not good enough that we're looking for. Strasburg, last year of his deal. We... That is like, this is kind of just like going for the rental. Now, he, he's been great. Last year, he, he dipped a little bit. His ERA went up. His whips went up. He still struck out 239 guys. Um, he's 34. He is going down. But last year of his deal, if we give up Chapman and Syndergaard, they're both in last year's of their deal. Now, I'm worried that if he retires after next year, that kind of sucks. But Chapman didn't. Syndergaard wouldn't. He's only going to be 30. Chapman might next year. This is a huge salary for salary trade, but we get Strasburg. We get that ace that we need, and they don't want to do it. Let's match the money. We need we need to get $5 million back from him. Coda Glover, you know, he has three years left. I really don't love that. Let's find a $5 million player, roughly. Matt Duffy's 4.8. He's got two years left. We have to just, okay, so that is close. We have to just trade something worth couple hundred thousand what could we trade gotta find someone in that price range Colton Welker maybe if that gets the deal if Welker gets the deal done I don't love to do that but we can do that but let's see if there's anyone else who fits that Bud Duffy definitely would but I don't want to trade Duffy because he's got that 96 speed is there a starter that we got Dave Riley could get that deal done Barber could. Uh, yeah, let's try um let's try Will Barber. He's 25, 76 overall. They don't like that. Alright, they do like Dave Riley. We get the guy we needed. This should work. Salaries basically lined up match perfectly. And we got it. We got the guy that we needed. We got that bona fide ace. We got Strasburg. It's a rental, so we're paying the money. We don't have any more money to spend, but we got rid of 
two bad, con- not bad contracts or one-year deals. We've got two high contracts for one high contract with all the deals end. So it's not like we are taking on Sully, but just for one year, and that's fine. Now we got 191, a 97. Ed Wells will be our closer. We can call up these. One, we'll call a Savo or Feller. We'll see how they do during the regular season. If they're struggling, then we will um, make a trade at the trade deadline. So let's put Strasburg in there. Let's finish the off season. And we are literally at our budget. We we are using all our money. But real quick, we can take a look at our um, what where our salary is locked up. Matt Olson's got a one year deal. Strasburg's got a one year deal. Trout. That's still a good deal. Maybe by like 2025, we may have to move him. Whitaker, that's a pretty good deal. Weaver, that's kind of expensive. If he doesn't pitch as well as he should, if his ERA is in the fours, we might move him. Michael Smalls, I love that contract for him. Cavani, that's a little expensive. Broussard for an elite reliever, that's not too bad. Triggs, fine. Duffy, I might try to trade him just to get salary relief. We'll keep him on the bench because he can hit, but he's going to be a bench guy for us. Elias, I love that deal. Um, and then Estevez. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We had, we had him in the minors, too. He's an 86 overall. We'll call him up. Uh, Luis Diaz is cheap. So, I mean, we're, we're fine. Um, as you can see, we're actually paying $171 million in salaries this year. Small market A's, we are at our budget. Um, the reason why we've been having money is because we've been having good revenue and revenue sharing. So, we are barely above. But the competitive balance tax... The, like the luxury tax at 235 can we see what other teams are spending i don't think we can i bet you other teams are spending like a ton of money i think contracts have just gone up a lot let's get this all taken care of our lineup uh yeah we'll have triggs obviously would be on the team uh barber i'll give barber a chance to try out the, he pitched well in limited action in the majors last year i want moda down in triple a i don't want you in the bigs oh you have to go through waivers i don't care a Savo, I do want you in the bigs. I want you to get some uh, action. Our catcher's fine. First base, fine. I want Warner to try out in AAA. That's good. Welker, I want you in the majors. Probably. No, we got Matt Duffy. He can play second, short, third. That's fine. Gil Cruz in AAA. That's good. Uh, Brandon Marsh. We want Duffy in the bigs. Because he... Marsh is okay, but Duffy's got one elite skill, 96 speed. Uh, so we're going to send Marsh down to AAA. He has options. Perfect. Uh, then let's just call some guys down from Class A to help fill out AAA. One more guy, and then we should be good. Now let's get our lineup all set. So there's our starting rotation. Strasburg, Weaver, Hutchinson, Canning, and then Triggs. I like that. We have actually a good amount of arms in the bullpen. We'll see how it works. Ed Wiles, Broussard, Estevis. We got one lefty. That that may be something we need to improve is get an extra lefty. Uh, we'll see how it works. Our lineup. Ah, no, I want Elias batting second. Villa was batting fifth. I like that. I want Cavani batting ninth. <laughs> Until Cavani hits, he's batting ninth. Whitaker, Elias. Now, Elias is only an 84. And you're like, why do you want him batting second? Because he gets on base. That's the reason. Um... I guess when we don't have a DH, we can have Villalobos bat second because he also gets on base. Cavani, you're not batting up there. Not until you hit. Uh, so this is our versus lefty lineup. They don't have Matt Olsen playing versus lefty. He still has 75 pop. Now, I'd rather have him in there. I know Griffith hits well. Uh, hits well. Um, I guess Elias will play. So I, don't want, I know Matt Duffy hits okay, but yeah, I want to just kind of the same lineup, you know. We'll just keep it the same. I want Griff batting six. He is batting six. Perfect. And then Matt Olson. I guess that's fine. And then, like I said, Cavani. He's an 89 overall. Do needs to start hitting, though. He has good vision, but he doesn't get on base because his discipline's not good. So he doesn't strike out. That's what vision does. All right, so that's all set. I want Jackie Jensen to make sure he's playing in the minors. Um, I guess he can, he can DH. He's a top prospect. And then I make sure our pitching is all set. Ullman, I believe, is a closer. That's fine. We got an 80 overall, 76. I mean, our, our minors are stacked. Let's take a look at the top prospects in baseball. We have, let's see, we have number 10 and 11. Okay, so we got ammunition there. And well, so we also have 15. Anything else? 
We have 28. He's now in the bigs. Uh, Acevo. Or Ace- Acevedo. We also have number 30. He's in AAA. So that's not bad. And that's it. So for the top prospects, that's what we got. Um, let's make sure your scouts are all set. We have two East. We don't have a West. So we're going to fire one of the East and put a West there. All right. That is good. Let's start the season. Before we go any further, we haven't saved it yet. I'm going to save it real quick. So give me a second. Then we're going to go right into the game. So we'll finish this episode going through the draft. We'll do the draft in this episode. All right. Here we go, boys. Time to start the season. Hopefully, hopefully this is a year we can finish it uh, and get that title. Now, they want to trade us. 22 year old C potential literally the first week of the season the twins are offering a trade I will not do that I, I mean we're getting a B potential which I like but at third base we have so many it's like look at that our third base was stacked so I'm good on that well I'm gonna hang on to that pitcher he may be needed at another time like I'd I mean if a team needs a starter we have that guy if the team needs a third baseman we already have a bunch of third basemen so why trade for another one um we're now starting to win a few games this is what I like to see Oh, what was that winning streak at? Huh, I was gonna check. Eh, it was like a like an eight or nine game winning streak. We should we're looking pretty good. I hope the young guys are pitching well. Hopefully, uh, Strasburg's still pitching well. Hopefully, we're hitting. But we are, we are very good now. We are at the draft. We have the twenty first pick, the ninth and tenth in compensatory round, and then the twenty third pick and the twenty fourth pick after that. So we got a good amount of picks. Let's see what we got here. Um, first round. There's a shortstop available. That may not be bad. Could have 80 contact. Could have 70 fielding, 80 arm strength. We're pretty weak at shortstop. We have a good major league player, but in the system, it's weak. A left fielder, pretty well scouted, 18 years old. He's a few years away, but he's 18, so that's okay. Um, maybe him. I kind of like that shortstop. Another guy who's a few years away. He's 21. No like one skill that really wows you, unfortunately. I'm not sure it's the smartest move to take the shortstop because he's not like the most accurately scouted. There's also a center fielder here who's 18 a few years away. But if a shortstop has 80 hit, like 80 hit, 80 vision, 70 fielding, 80 steal too with only 60 speed. But I mean, if he develops, that could be a stud. Now let's see what we got. All oh, that shorts, uh, that left fielder I wanted taken this round just got taken. Oh no, he didn't. Oh no, that's the 18 year old. We'll take this guy here. He's a few years away, but he's well scouted. And then I'm gonna take. Uh, where was he? Ooh, there's another shortstop a few years away. There's another guy. Oh, this center fielder, I'm going to take him. He's 18 a few years away. Could have 80 fielding, though. 70 speed. 55, six, between 60 and 50 for hit tools. I'll take that. Uh, hopefully he's just like an A potential. And like it could just. I'm not sure how well of a great player he'll be, but he could be a really good trade chip in the future. A starting pitcher here is a few years away as an option. This third baseman could be ready very soon. 70 power is not bad. 70 feelings not bad. Uh, we'll take a chance on this guy. Third baseman in the second round. We've already had four picks and only in the second round. That's why I like getting those uh, free agents, those compensatory round picks. That pitcher is still available. This third baseman is also available. He's already 22 a few years away. Another shortstop. Another shortstop. Could have 80 fielding, 75 speed. I'll take a chance on Ricky Taylor. Like I said, I always like to find like those a couple elite skills. You know, that's what I really like to see. All right, this round we might have to take like a 75. This shortstop could be ready next year. 80 contact, 70, 75 power. Holy cow. Frank, I'm going to take a chance on you. I mean, I even feel like if you're a C potential, a shortstop with power, that's a good bench option. And then you can play shortstop. Um, next round, really have nothing scouted. So I'm going to just take a shot in the dark. Take a pitcher. We haven't taken one yet. I take, We'll take Alexis Ramos. Hopefully you're good. It's round five. It's a shot in the dark. If it fails, it's round five. If it hits, it's nice. Uh, round six. I'll take this starting pitcher as well. There's a second baseman, but we're going to take another starter. Uh, and then round seven. I don't think we're going to get a pick. I think we're going to be too far outside of it yet. Yeah, we were a couple picks away, but there's the draft. So let's see where we're at. All right. Nothing. Oh, the end of the draft was really good. First couple rounds. A lot of Bs, but I'll take it. So 81 potential. Not great with Cal, uh, Kevin Cabrera. But he has good contact. Terrible fielding at shortstop. Good arm, but terrible fielding. But you know what? Oh, we don't have enough money for him. we got to wait till we have some home games before we finish this. We have a home series right up now. Uh, so once we have a few games, as we lose some games, do we have... We don't have the money yet. I may have to trade Matt Duffy. Let's see. Finish this home stand. Do we have the money? I don't think we do. So we're going to have to trade Matt Duffy. 
Yeah, we're going to have to trade Matt Duffy to get this money, and then we'll finish the episode. I'm saying Matt Duffy, who, how's he doing? He's struggling anyway. Just to get the money so we can sign our, our players. Looks like we can get a player back, so that's actually good. I see there's a seven. I just want one. Oh! Yeah, we, we're weak at short uh, second base. He's 22-55 overall. But, hey, it's second baseman. We're weak there in like terms of prospects. So, he's there. He's an option. If a team needs a second baseman, we should now have the money. Oh, we have to wait a little bit longer. That is so frustrating. We do have this long homestand here, so we'll th sim through that. I forgot. We got to call someone up to the majors. I know who to call up. Colton Walker, even though you're struggling in AAA, that is fine. Double A has one too many players. So we will send you down to class A. Now we're good. Let's finish this home stand here. I don't care. Fix that. Our record right now is 20 games over 500. Not too bad if I do say so. And let's see. Do we we still are negative money? Why are we negative? Scouts, coaches. Revenue, we don't, oh, we pay in revenue sharing now. Wow. So, we're going to have to find a way to get some money back. We will, we have until the end of the season to sign these guys. We can take a look at them real quick now. And we'll remember at the uh, next, or we can trade something now, maybe, to get some more money. Like, if a guy's struggling, how's Estevez doing? He's struggling. Let's trade Estevez. Well, that's $3 million. God, that's so frustrating. I hope they have that different next year um there's a catcher prospect We're, I'm literally just this is a salary dump that's all it is where is that catcher I just saw a catcher where did you go there's a shortstop a left fielder and hey, man he's well wanted out in the uh in the uh, league Reliever and a first baseman? I'll take that, I guess. Um, do we have the money now? I don't think we do. Hey, we do. Okay, now we can sign him. So here's this left fielder, 84 potential. He's a 48. So he's a big-time project. But hey, you know what? Here we go. This is not a bad pick. 18 years old, 54 overall. He's more of a project. But you can see he has some tools. Fielding and speed, 89 potential. That might turn into an A. Ochoa, third baseman. Uh, here's a little bit of pop, 78 uh, potential. Ricky Taylor, that shortstop, 83 speed. Uh, Frank Alkers, this is that shortstop. He only has 70 potential. As you can see, he has like hit tool. He's like, I, I mean, he'll. I don't think he'll ever make the majors though because of that 70 potential. But here we go. This is nice. Look at this, 89 potential. He's 22, 64 overall. That's not bad. And then 84 potential, 63 overall. And Ronald Tyson. Now, before we end the video, if you guys want to see how our players are doing, let's take a look. Strasburg is mightily struggling right now. 5-3-2 ERA. Hopefully, he turns that around. Weaver's pitching well. 3-5-5. Hutchinson's pitching well. 3-5-5. Canning is kind of struggling. A 5-1-3. Triggs, 4-0-6. Oh, um, we really don't have the money to take on anyone else. We have to, like, I might call it Machado for another pitcher. He has 90 stamina, which is nice. Uh, let's take a look at our relievers. Barbara, the long man's pitching really well. Munn's pitching well. Feller's pitching well. save was kind of struggling. We're going to move him here. He'll pitch last. Broussard's pitching well. Broussard's pitching. I mean, Wiles is pitching amazing as our closer. Nice to see. Let's take a look at that lineup. Whitaker, 283, 14 bombs, 20 stolen bases. On base at a 381 clip. That's why you lead off. Elias, his average isn't great, but he has 21 bombs for the guy. He doesn't even have that much power, but he's in for power. I'll take it. Mike Trout, 330 with 36 home runs. <laughs> Holy shit, Trout. He has more home runs than he did last year. He might hit 50. 23 for Matt Olson. His average is up, and his power is not bad. His slugging percentage is actually higher than it was last year. It's actually almost at a career high. Uh, Bill Lobos, 333 with 11 bombs. He's so good. 439 on base. I want to move him up in the lineup, but who do I move down? Maybe Elias because he's on base is 382. I don't know. Griffith, the 283 average, 349 on base. Mikey Smalls is struggling, hitting, but I think I'll turn around. Luis Diaz, there we go, 306. 372 on base. And then Cavani, 260 average, that would be a career high. 327 on base, 450 slugging. So that's that. We're going to move Diaz actually up in the lineup. Uh, because if you're hitting well, I'm going to give you that. 
And that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this. It's a little bit long. Uh, but there's the draft. Hopefully, Strasburg turns it around because he's, like, so expensive to our team. But we'll see. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Drop a like if you did. I'll talk to you later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.